Hi and welcome to another video from me, Chris or DBG. Just a reviewing the Warhammer Combat cards. We're just going to see what cards I actually won and where it came in the Faithful Spirit. Hi and welcome. So this is the Vengeful Spirit campaign we did, which was Space Marines versus Chaos. Um, I came in the top 15%. I do feel I could have got a lot better, but the start of the campaign had a crash and like you spent energy and you lost like two or three. I think at one stage I lost all of them. So it was a bit difficult in that. And then Saturday I was pretty much busy all day, so I wasn't able to play at all really. So with that in mind, two days behind everyone else, top 15%. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, some of the cards are interesting. The campaign itself I found quite difficult in stages, especially playing when they used Araman. Um, he works a little bit like the Broodlord, that for the whole, all of his cards are combat. So every single turn they're boosting up the psychic boost, and then Araman's played, and then it just one hits your hero. Um, try to use the Thunderhammer. Storm Shield Terminator, who could ignore the first lot of damage. If I could place him down first, then he would ignore that, and then my hero can come in and, and do a lot of damage to, to Iron Man. So I won a couple of them. But generally, really tough campaign. I uh, did enjoy it. I think the next campaign is going to be a little bit more tricky, so we'll go through that as well. Let's see what happens. It's getting a little boost of what I've already got already, so that's good. Those cards there, I do like this guy, it's quite cool. Um, good combat, good melee, good heal, health. Not too badly played. He's got everything really cheap for what he is. <laughs> 12 points. Um, more. You compare to him, it's, it's not a comparison, is it really? Uh, it's just the health that's different on the light, but. Well. No new cards so far, but getting quite a lot of doubles. Three of him. I guess I should be able to boost him. He's really cheap, I think, uh, for eight points to go into your deck. Uh, 19 attack at the moment, so that's really good. Equally for him as well. 17 points, 20 damage. Um, it's quite good. Uh, you know, good for a him anyway. No new cards so far, but him, so that means I could be able to use him. I've not been able to use <laughs> the Redemptor Dreadnought. It's just too expensive to put in my deck. I don't know what you people think of different things. I mean, 198 five health is huge. I should be able to kill things in two turns, um, especially by melee. It's just at 80 odd points. Is it worth? Well, equivalent could be four cards. Is it going to take four cards to the enemy out? And here we go, some new cards. So this is one that you were gonna, I was going to win anyway. So, Aggressor. 13, 22. Good health. Not too bad. i got four of them as well. But I'm more interested in Centurion. 75 health, 22 attack. That's quite cool. Not too bad as well. And someone asked in the previous video, how did you detect fast? So this is one of the cards I was using in one of my deck, the suppressor. So when you click on the arrow, it will give you the expressions underneath. So for example, the keywords are ultramarines, primus, and fast. So in this campaign, it got fast. Um, go fast. It had the fast keyword, so you got an extra percentage to your points. Loads of new cards. Love this. Go. Cool. Did see. Wow, three of them. Free fund of cavalry. Have a space wolf theme going on. Tactical Marine, pretty cheap, pretty good health. Yeah, it's alright. Old school model, I. 
that's quite cool. <laughs> it's very retro. Trusty Scout, seven points. Okay, there's some good screening coming in. So. Getting on to juicy now. So, all rares. Any new? One new. Oh, he's a good, good character, I think. And this is Dreadnought. The advantage and disadvantage, I think, as well, is it's hitting every turn, whatever they're doing. It's got a psychic, it's got melee. It's not, the problem is, it's not boosting. But would you rather do damage every turn or boost something? I don't know. It's a good way up, actually. With 54 points, it's not a cheap. So you got to do go make that advice, but 155 health. I think 54 points is quite worth. It could be worth it. No legendaries, unfortunately. Come on, epics. Let's get some new cards. One new Khan the Betrayer. He was a beast in the game. A level one is only 40 attack, which is just monstrous anyway. But he was coming up at like 51. I was fighting in this campaign. Um, one of this guy, so I can level him up. I think he's quite useful. And 35, 37 points is relatively cheap. Typhus, really good actually. Um, really good. I really like it. Oh, so that is all the cards so far. So quite a lot. I can definitely level up him now. Goes up in melee. Forty-seven attack then, and the health goes up to two hundred. That could be, could start to make him worth taking. Uh, Typhus, I can start putting in. Goes up hell. Okay, starts going up. Gets more attack. Thirty-three. That's a big jump. Eighteen to. Wow. Sixty points to cost, though. But this is where it's interesting. The next campaign is Necrons versus Chaos. The Dark Angels have fallen. Into an ambush. Let the feasting begin. As the campaign. The kingdom of the bone. Starts in a day and a half. The. What you get. Looking at screen. Is. Um, Primer. I can't remember what they're called now. Something. Niche guard. Possibly. Looks like a team spider, and then a deceiver with 5,000, so, and each infantry card, so this is what I was saying before about checking what cards are, you get an extra 20%, which looks really cool, because quite a lot of things are infantry. But let's have a look at my Necron options, and, ah, uh, <laughs> so, I don't, does Cryptek have infantry? Cryptek has infantry, so really I've only got I've got three infantry, which is not too bad. Brave's not got infantry, I should have fast. Yeah. And destroyer's not going to have infantry, because that should have fast. So, the problem is, is I don't really have much choice. Um, and it's a bit of a mixed bag. I mean, I've got quite, quite a cool hero, but he's quite expensive. 60 points, you're pretty much relying on him at the end to shoot everything. God, that's a massive jump in health, isn't it? The next... If we just get him to level two, when deploying, it's got a good trait. This one, this is what I quite like. A random card loses 20, 20 wounds, it's really strong. Um, every time a Necron card readies, when your Necro. Yeah, Necron cards ready. So it's happening every turn if you're playing it. It's a my deck anyway. So that'll be really important in the campaign. This one's a heal. Um, is a lot lower points. Um, could be better. I don't really know. Depends on how many points I get to spend on the campaign. Um, but that is it so far. So hope you enjoy join the, sort of the campaign stuff. I didn't really get a chance to really play show you the play action of this. Um, still tempted to buy that. Um, I've got 458 plasma, so I might be f not forced, but 
I might buy the Necron, just buy one of the Necron cards and just hope I get a big percentage of the Necrons in there. Um, because it's, get Tau, Eldar, you know what I mean, and Necron cards, get 16, um, 16 cards, so 200. I think that could be worth doing. I'll see what I get in the next couple of days from all my free packs and stuff. Um, because I definitely need to improve my Necrons. Now, ironically, in a campaign, like, when you finish him, you get so many Necron cards that your your deck goes quite quite good. So I don't think these, are, these cards that you win are restricted by your rank, which is quite cool, but the card openings are. But that's where we are so far. Level 21, so I've gone quite far now. Um, got loads of gold. Pretty happy with that. But I hope you enjoyed that little opening. And let me know how you done in the campaign. Where did you come? Um, did you get frustrated at the start? I mean, I know Warhammer Cards did an announcement. They extended the campaign for an extra 12 hours. And you could have a contact to if you needed to restore your energy that you lost which is i think kudos to them you know you know something's wrong you know your server's gone wrong and it was literally within a day um not even within a day not even 24 hours so they just done the announcement just saying this is what's happened we apologize here we go here's a special treat have a fix i think that's i think a lot of games don't do that and that's what loses the power base Hopefully, it hasn't lo lost the power base for this as well. Also, um, have you checked out the... I don't even know what it is, their community page? If you have, um, it's quite cool. It's got loads of people that sort of post their stories and stuff. I now and again post on there. If you want to give us a follow, just obviously Devil's Brush. Um, see one of my night pictures in there as well. It's got a Devil Brush logo. Um, follow us on that. I know how I'm doing that as well. But I hope you enjoyed that. Wherever you are in the world, happy hobbying and have a good one.